already saw the notification that I was uh, planning on. Uh, I got myself the new games. I thought I would actually do like a quick little unboxing thing. I actually got a few games and I bought myself a plastic knickknack too. I may as well just get the plastic knickknack out of the way first uh, before I continue before I continue showing off all the other before I start showing off all the games. Right over here inside this little plastic inside this giant plastic bag. But first the plastic knickknack. Well, I don't know why I bought this now. I, I, and I'll explain why in a minute, though, guys. It's it's a Pikachu amiibo. It's a little Pikachu amiibo. Used for Smash. If you guys haven't caught on, though, there's like a little Smash platform on the top. But yeah, I've always wanted a Pikachu amiibo. If anybody hasn't caught on yet, there's a giant Pikachu amiibo. There's like a giant Pikachu plushie over there, I mean. I don't know why I call that giant one an amiibo. I don't think it would even work. I don't even think it would, even if I tried to like sit that thing on the gamepad, it would not, the, the gamepad would not even recognize it or, or on Nintendo Switch with Ultimate. <laughs> Now, I don't know why I bought this, because right after I bought this, I, I saw this on a shelf behind locked behind glass, and then right afterwards, I look right over to the side, I turn my head over this way, and then there it is, there's another one inside a little plastic case, like the little, cla like the little, like the little plastic boxes you can buy them in stores. But I decided to stick with this one, because ironically or not, as you can see, this one was cheaper, only fifteen dollars. The other ones were like going for like uh, thirty dollars. The other ones were going for more like uh, thirty dollars, I think, maybe thirty, thirty-five. Can't remember. I should know this crap. This was like a few days ago. Say you can, come on. Still a pretty cool thing though. I'll put it on my shelf with all my other amiibos. I'm trying right now though uh, to to get a Sonic amiibo. Even though I might not be even though it might not be compatible with any Sonic games for Wii U or Switch or anything like that. It would still be cool to have up on the shelf with all the other amiibos that I had. That's that's kinda why, but Pikachu was also another one as well. No lie, Pikachu was one of the ones I also wanted. It's kind of weird though, when I go right back to when the Amiibos came out, I actually did not like these things. Now, I look over here, and I have like a giant shelf of them. Maybe someday I'll show off all the Amiibos that I have as a video, because I would really want to show off all the Amiibos I got over the years. The The collection, I will say the, the, the collection has slightly expanded. I would not really buy all of the Amiibos, but, uh, I'd still have, like, a few. I'm just gonna put that right there on the table for now. That's not even the map of Africa. What are you talking about, Nathrakis? Jeez. Ugh. So, I should point out, though, most of these games I got, though, are mostly PlayStation related, but, uh, but I don't blame myself either. We're not going to see any Nintendo related stuff in here. I'm just going to get that out here now. But one of the first ones I did finally get my hands on, finally, finally, is all I can say. Finally. I finally got Resident Evil 2, a PlayStation copy of Resident Evil 2. 
No Dual Shock Edition. I found that out the hard way. I saw somebody else doing a Let's Play, and the title screen showed the Dual Shock, Dual Shock Edition version, and this one doesn't have that. It's just the normal. It's just the normal game before the Dual Shock support came out for this thing. I should point out though. At PS1, PlayStation 1, buddy. This is PlayStation 1. I was about to say, what the fuck happened with my playlist? Why do I hear mu muted? I should point out something, though, right now, though, guys. The game comes with two discs. It's supposed to come with two discs. Relax. The other one of them right now is sitting in the PS2 right now. I I just started play. I just started playing this game, but here's the other disc. I just started off uh, the disc with Leon, and hopefully Claire B mode will be afterwards. That kind of blows me away that there is like a second, like a second mode after the game is over, and then you play as the other character because. Because uh, when I played, I was about, I played the remake before I played this. This is kind of why I wanted this game in the first place, was because I loved it, the remake so much. I thought it was the amazing game ever. If I ever do live stream uh, OG OG RE2, though, guys, I'm just gonna download. Uh, I'm just gonna download an emulated ROM copy of the dual of the DualShock supporting version. Of this game instead. Uh, it's okay, but uh, the tank controls of, uh, are kind of difficult. I I I gotta be honest, though, guys. The first time I played this, and I need to pause the fucking music for a minute. I gotta be honest. I died an awful lot just the beginning. And before the police, the police station, I even died a few times before the kendo, sh before the kendo gun shop. How do you die before the first location of the game? It is difficult if your name is the Sega Camp Gamer. And no, you cannot. It would not be until like RE5 and 6 though when they finally added a uh, co-op of a uh, co-op to the games. So the originals 1 through 4 uh Nathrakis, no. Heck, not even an RE0 which even had a uh, which even had you play which you had to even swap between two different characters. Sherry uh or no, well not Sherry. What was that? Uh, Rebecca Chambers with this guy named Jake. You were stuck playing the two characters no matter what. And there was like no co-op for that game either, which was uh, which really did suck. It's kind of why I quit playing RE Zero. Well, speaking of Resident Evil games, I guess I'll keep. Let's keep this. Well, let's keep this tangent going then, shall we? It's Code Veronica, the or I should say. The, the version that was originally made for the Dreamcast, but uh, but hey, Code Veronica X, which got which got made a few months later because uh, they knew their version on the Dreamcast was not selling so well. But people had more PlayStation Twos than the Sega Dreamcast, so of course I had to remake this again for the for the PS2 because PS2 was coming off was running off the shelves and running for the hills. Let me turn the music back on for a sec. Yeah. Now, if anyone tells me what kind of my... But if there was ever a genre of racing games I... If there's ever a genre of gaming I do love, it's the racing genre. Racing genre is my favorite. If anyone tells you what Sega Kim's favorite genre, in video games, you can always tell them, guys, I have a beeline fetish for racing. This system of this just proves it right here. This game right here, guys. 
Need for Speed, Need for Speed 2 Underground, or, or I'm sorry, Need for Speed Underground 2. Or it says, it says right here, Need for Speed Underground 2. Need for Speed Underground 2. Oh, I wish, to, oh, I, maybe I should try playing more Ridge Racer, Simon. Uh, I don't have Ridge Racer. Shocking. And I remember, and I am kind of familiar with uh, the PS3 launch and having that guy give it up on stage, say, on stage saying, Ridge Racer. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that shit. Now, I do own the, now these next two games. I kind of already own, but decided to have physical copies. I have them on PS4. I, do, I, bought, I bought them digitally on the PS4. And before and before uh, we had that, uh, uh, what was it? Updated, updated one. Grocery games. The def oh, the definitive edition. Thankfully, I don't have to play the definitive edition, guys. I still have the original games before the definitive edition came out. But if somehow, uh, if somehow my PS4 gets bricked and I can't, and I'm stuck with just buying the definitive edition, I don't have to anymore. Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I just heard Ray Liotta pass away, and he was the voice actor for the main character in this game. But yeah, I I got these, and I got these pretty cheap too. I got these pretty cheap. Look at that five dollar price tag. Five dollars for each. Yes, I'll gladly take that for five dollars. I would gladly take that for a dollar too, but whatever. You guys know the scene, Robocop. I buy that for a dollar. <laughs> but uh, no, no, these are still cool. I don't know why there's a $59 price tag in the corner, though. That's kind of weird. That looks like something that was at EB Games at some point. Actually, it was. Electronics Boutique. EB Games, what the fuck? And this shit's fucking plastered on, holding on for dear life. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. I'm busy in the middle of streaming. But I thought you guys would like this little, uh, would like this little, that's, that's pretty much all the games I got actually. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, though. Sega can You bought a lot of PS2 games. You still need to buy a PS2 memory card, right? It's here in one of these game cases. Yes, I got a PS2 memory card. I find this cool that they that you can actually get like a game disc and stick the memory card in here. And Nintendo did that too uh, with uh, with GameCube. I remember the GameCube, the uh, GameCube cases were very, very similar to this, and they were still able to like slip a slot in there too. Hey, given the DS, you remember? Does anyone remember the DS cases? And it's like this little case of a head. you open it up, and then the middle is like this little cartridge holder thing for the DS cartridges. But then all of a sudden, the top, they have like this giant little plastic arch thing. And that's actually supposed to be for the GBA titles since the DS's were backwards compatible with Game Boy Advance. I thought that was pretty cool.
Anyway, though, I'm going to go stop the video right here for now. So for now, guys, it's the Say You Can't Gamer, guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have yourselves a fantastic night. And take care. I'm going to continue doing my stream now.